Frogger started all the way back in 1981, during the golden age of arcade machines. It was an attempt by Konami to cash in on the change from space shooters like Galaxican and Space Invaders to the cuter game style like Pac-Man and Centipede. Frogger has been ported, remade and imitated countless times, but today I'm going to focus on the Super Nintendo version. The gameplay follows the same formula as the original arcade version with no new concepts. Dodge the cars five times, cross the lake five times, rinse and repeat for stage two. The controls are nice and responsive, but you would hope so since you only use the D-pad. I did find when trying to take my frog home I had to be exactly in line with the hole, and it took some time before I was comfortable with the alignment. The graphics are where the game starts to feel very C-grade. That's right Bill Janet, don't go putting this one on your resume. The title screen and stage cut scenes are underwhelming to say the least. For a Super Nintendo game that was released in 98, the graphics are just awful. And as for the in-game graphics, they feel like a first attempt at trying to look 3D. The music is, well, non-existent. There's no music in this game. None on the title screen, none on the player select screen, none on the game screen. And the sound effects are either annoying, like the jump noise every single time you move. Or just strange, like when you fall in the water. Did I drown, or did I put out a fire and then pop? This has been a basic game review for Frogger on the Super Nintendo. As always, questions and comments are more than welcome. If you'd like a little bonus, click the link here. And if you'd like to see some more games like Frogger, check out the games over here. Depending when you're watching this, we may have made some more reviews and those games will be linked.